So in this video, I'm going to be installing Solus. And there are four desktop environments to choose from. There's Budgie, Gnome, Plasma, and XFCE. So Solus is an independently developed operating system. So I'm going to be installing Budgie. And the size of this ISO file is 3 gigs. I'll start the installer. So it uses the Calamari installer. This is location. This is the keyboard layout and settings. This is the petition section. I'll select erase this. Swap with Hibernate. And the file system, I'm going to choose BTRFS. I'll create an account. So this is the summary of all the selections. So installation is complete. I'm going to log in. So on the lower left side, I'll click on the grid icon. So this is all, and these are all the applications. This is accessories. This is graphics. This is internet. This is office. This is sound and video. This is system tools. This is universal access. So on the start menu, there's a power button. This is system settings, and this is the desktop settings. I'll click on the desktop settings, and these are some of the settings. Style, this is widgets. This is icons. This is cursors. Notification position. It's on dark theme. I'm going to leave it at dark. So these are the desktop settings. This is fonts. And under Raven, we we'll get calendar, sound, output, sound input, and media controls. I can also add widgets here. I'll click on Windows. So on the button layout, I can change the position of all these buttons. So right now it's on the right side. I'll leave it at the left. These are the panel settings. This is the bottom panel here. So these are all the application icons on the panel. I can also add applets here. There's also settings. I could change the position of the panel. It's on the left. It's on the right. I'm going to leave it at the bottom. This is the spacing settings. You can also create new panels. This is auto start, and I can add auto start apps. So this is the software center. This is updates. These are all the installed applications. This is third party applications. I'll install Google Chrome. So Google Chrome is installed. It's here. This is search and this is settings. So this is the Nemo file manager. I'll create a new folder. So 
So Firefox is installed by default. This is Celluloid. This is Rhythm Box. So on the lower right side, this is a network icon. This is the notifications icon. This is the volume icon. This is the power icon and, and you can lock the computer, log out, suspend, hibernate, reboot or shut down. This is the time and date. I'll right click the desktop, click on system settings. So these are some of the settings, network. I can add a VPN here. This is Bluetooth, this is background. So these are some of the wallpapers. This is notification settings. This multitasking. So this is application settings. This is privacy settings. This is sharing settings, song settings, power settings, display settings, mouse and touchpad settings, keyboard. This is printer settings, removable media, color, region and language. Accessibility, Users, Default Application Settings, Date and Time Settings, Sal Open and Grandpa Archive Manager. And this is it. I'll open System Monitor. I'll open the terminal app. So to check what's the kernel version, I'll just type uname arm. And the kernel version is 6.12. I'll check the session type. I'll type echo dollar sign xdg session type. So it's x11. So I'm going to see if VLC media player is installed. I'll type VLC. So VLC Media is not installed, so I'm going to install VLC Media Player. And to do that, I'll type, so I'll type sudo eopkg install VLC. So I'll open VLC Media. I'll see if HTOP is installed. 
htop is not installed. I'll install htop. So I'll open the budgie screenshot. I'll open the document viewer. So it's X reader. So these are some of the specs. The operating system is Solus 4.7 Endurance. This is the number of packages. The desktop environment is Budgie 10.9.2. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.